Hey gang, Kyle Rowe started a cover of the year tag, and I wasn't going to do it because I've bought almost no books from 2017. The only book I have on my pull list is Wonder Woman. I haven't bothered reading it for about four years. I have it on my list to keep my list open. I need a monthly book to keep it open. And I know that Wonder Woman will never be canceled because the rights to the character revert back to the Marston estate when DC stops publishing it. So my list can stay open in perpetuity. So this, issue 21, is the best regular cover of the current Wonder Woman run, which for me, by default, is the best cover of 2017. It's a nice, iconic cover, at least. And my best find of 2017 is also a Wonder Woman. It's Wonder Woman 151. I have technically found higher dollar, more in-demand books, but this is the one I haven't shown. I initially didn't pick this up. I'd just been to my comic book store, where all the regular employees know that I don't like my comics to be mangled. The girls sort of giggled and I'm so careful, but I'm like, laugh away, ladies, because I'm not paying the Canadian equivalent of cover price for these books if they're all VF'd up. But I get some douche who's new. Grab. Crush. It wasn't even a new book. It was from the $2 bin. I don't give a care. Don't manhandle my mags. After that, I'm super pissy, and I go to the antique mall that's down the street from there. One booth. The guy has stuff in piles on card tables. He has books in bags that are so stiff and crusty, I guess he figures they don't need backboards. You know, bright yellow bags with eBay priced tags. He's got the boxes labeled by character, and I see a Wonder Woman short box. I flip through, and they're mostly $3, and they look fine, but I pull them out, and the bottom's all screwed. I go to the next one, and the bottom's all screwed. I go to the next one, the bottom's all screwed. I come to this one. It's a black cover. And if I find that it's damaged, I'm going to kick over the card table these short boxes sit on. I'm so sick of seeing beat-to-shit books. I don't even bother checking it. I just walk away. But then over the summer, I showed them off in a video. I picked up a bunch of Wendy's at two fifty dollars apiece at my local flea market. And most of those were VF. So I'm thinking, eh, next time I go back to that antique mall, if it's still there... If it's still the same price, I'll pick up that Wonder Woman. The next time I go, the guy who owns the booth is there to restock. He's got a big wad of books with round stickers, which means he picked them up for a dollar a piece 40 minutes away at the Warehouse of Love. And who knows what he'll be marking them up to. So he's just like, are you looking for anything in particular? Oh, well, you had a Wonder Woman box here last time I was here, and I don't see it. Oh, well, I take some of the stuff out on the road. Okay, so the one I want's long gone. But the next time I'm there, the Wonder Woman box is there, the book is there, it's in near mint, it's three fifty, and I get it. That was a long story. So thank you to Kyle Rowe, thank you for starting this tag, and thank you to the comic book Esthete for pushing people to do it. And the tag's open, so Sleepy, Johnny, Costume Bromstar, Tim Morant, Sarge, it's a great excuse to make a quick video.